Severe weather is something we face on a regular basis. It's part of living in the Midwest. This week, the National Weather Service is reminding people to have a plan. Five on your side's Tracy Hinson is here with what you can do during severe weather preparedness week. Tracy? Ann and Mike, it's rare when weather is quiet here, but the next few days it will be, and that means it's perfect weather to get your ducks in a row for the next time severe weather hits. If you don't already, get in the habit of checking the forecast. That jet stream up there is howling tonight. Make a list of outdoor items to bring inside before the next storm. If storms are coming about, make sure, you know, any expensive outdoor items are covered, vehicles are pulled in, pets are inside. Get a weather radio, and if you have one, refresh the batteries. Pick a buddy to touch base with when the weather gets rough. Study the lingo. When the National Weather Service issues a watch, that means the ingredients are out there for a severe storm to develop. A warning is when severe weather has been spotted and you need to take action. Since severe weather is not in our imminent forecast, it's a good time to check your insurance policies should a storm damage your property. For wind and hail, which are two of the biggest claims we see in the Midwest, um, you have a you know a 5% deductible or, or whatever, and, and they don't realize it's thousands of dollars um, you know, whenever a wind or hail storm damages their home. Brennan says most standard home policies do not include coverage for wind or hail damage, so first check to see if you have coverage. Then see if the deductible is something you can afford if the worst happens. Heavy rain often comes along with severe weather, so you'll want to make sure your home is covered for that too. Backup of sewers and drains is going to cover if anything backs up uh, inside the house. So it's typically going to occur in that drain in your basement, uh, but it could be anywhere. And that's an optional coverage that's not included with your base plan. A lot to think about this week for sure. Now, if your property is damaged during a severe weather event, Brendan said call the company out to fix it or get a quote and then call your insurance company next. Tracy, thank you. Let's get back to Chief Meteorologist.